Hello, thank you for joining. This is Quarantunes for Percussion. I'm Mr. Spur. Quarantunes, Quarantunes, we're stuck inside with Quarantunes. So for this lesson of Quarantunes, we're going to begin with a sight reading syncopated quarter note and eighth note rhythms. Next, we're going to move on to sight reading um, eighth note tied to two sixteenth notes. And then we're going to end by focusing and revisiting the uh, five stroke roll. Let's look at that first rhythm. Okay, so here's the rhythm we'll be working on today. First, we're going to count it cold. Then we'll figure out how to count it. Then we'll count it one more time. And then we're going to, with our sticks, count and play at the same time. So, counting it cold with the metronome. And one, two, ready, go. One, two, three, and, and one, and two, and, and four. One, and, and three, and four, and one, and three, and, and. So use this time now to pause the video, write down the rhythm, and then we're going to count this together. So something I want you to pay attention to is we're going to focus on this rhythm here, 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 and here. So why don't we use the first one right there? So let's just get these two chord notes out of the way. We know that these fall on beats one and two. Okay. So right here we have, think of it as kind of like building blocks. We have an eighth note here. The quarter note takes up two eighth notes. And then we have another eighth note right there. This takes up three and four, right? So the way it's always going to work in these cases is this first eighth note will start on the beat. And then we have the quarter note because it's following an eighth note. It's actually going to be on the and, not on the downbeat, but on the offbeat. Okay? Because it's a quarter note, it's two eighth notes long. So that's going to take up and, and then four. So that means this eighth note right here is going to be on the and of four. Okay? Let's move on and try to identify other places where this falls. So, beat one, there's an eighth note followed by another eighth note, that's an and. And then we have the same phrase again. Okay? So... You can draw out your eighth notes here. So remember, the quarter note takes up two eighth notes. Each eighth note takes up one. And this falls on beat two. Move to the next eighth note. It's on the end of two. Because it's a quarter note, it takes up two of these. Two and three. And this will be on the end of three. Okay? I'm going to erase this so we're not confused by the notes. And then lastly, this chord note's on beat four. Next measure. We have this same rhythm again, so you can draw four eighth notes underneath. This falls on beat one. So that eliminates the first eighth note. Because the quarter note's following an eighth note, this has to be on the and. And the quarter note is two eighth notes long, so that'll take up and two. Meaning this last eighth note will be on the and of two. And then we have four more eighth notes. We know how to count eighth notes. That's three and four and. Okay. And then the last measure, we have a half note that takes up two beats on beat one. So it takes up beats one and two. And then we have the same phrase starting on beat three. It's very like the beginning. So draw out your eighth notes. Eighth note. Two eighth notes for the quarter note. And then one more eighth note. Okay? That's like the skeleton, if you will. Starts on beat three. Three. 
following the eighth notes a quarter note that takes the two eighth notes so that means it starts in the and of three it also encompasses four so that means this last eighth note's on the and of four all right you ready to count again let's try it with the met one two ready count one two three and and one and two and and four one and and three and four and one three and and okay now with our sticks in hand we're going to play through this here we go and two and one two ready go one two three and and one and two and and four one and and three and four and one three and and okay i know these are tricky but with more practice you'll get used to them okay now let's take a look at that 16th note rhythm this week we're going to focus on rhythms that have this 16th note pattern eighth note followed by two sixteenths remember we count 16th notes One, E, and A. Uh. So something to keep in mind is you see this eighth note right here? It actually takes up two of these sixteenth notes. So that's why we leave the E out, because the one for the eighth note already holds that E. And then these sixteenth notes, they just follow suit. Okay? Let's try reading this rhythm. Here's the rhythm we're working with today. So, first we'll count it cold, next we'll figure out how to count it, then we'll count it one more time, and then lastly we'll count it while playing it. Here we go, with the metronome. Two, ready, and a go. One, two, and three, and a four. One, and a two, three, and a four. One, two, and a three, and four. One, two, and a three. Four and up. Okay, pause this video for a moment, write down this rhythm, and then together we're going to figure out how to count it. Measure one, we have quarter note, two eighth notes, and then the eighth sixteenths, and then the quarter. So let's write what we know. First note of each measure is beat one. A quarter note takes up all of beat one. Move on to the next beat. The eighth note falls on two, followed by an and. And then we have this. 8th, 16th note pattern. So that's going to be on beat 3. 3 takes, or the 8th note takes 3, E. We don't write E though. And then the 16ths are and, a. Uh. Then lastly, the last quarter note is on beat 4. There's your 2. 8th, 2 16ths, quarter. 8th, 2 16ths, quarter. So this 8th note falls on beat 1. 8th note holds 1, E. And then the sixteenths are and a. Uh. The quarter note takes up all of beat two. We have another eighth two sixteenths. Just like the beginning, it's three and a. Uh. And then the last quarter note is on beat four. <coughs> Measure three, we have quarter note, eighth note two sixteenths, two eighths, and quarter note. So the quarter note's on beat one. Eighth note's on beat two. With the sixteenths, it'll be two, no E, because the eighth note has two sixteenths. And then these sixteenths right here will be and a. Uh. And then on beat three, we have two eighth notes, three and. And then the last beat has a quarter note on beat four. <coughs> Lastly, we have quarter note, eighth note, two sixteenths, quarter note, eighth note, two sixteenths. All notes at the beginning of the measure on beat one. Then we have this pattern that we're working on. Falls on beat two, no E, and a. Uh. Quarter notes on beat three, and then lastly, four, no E, and a. Uh. Okay? Let's try counting it again with the map. One, two, ready, and a go. One, two, and three, and a four. One, and a two, 
three, and a four. One, two, and a three, and four. One, two, and a three, four, and a. Now, with your sticks, we're going to count and play. Here we are, set position, and one, two, ready, and go. One, two, and three, and a four. One, and a two, three, and a four. One, two, and a three, and four. One, two, and a three, four, and a. Okay, let's take a look at that five stroke roll. So we're revisiting the five stroke roll. As you can see, it's just two doubles and then a single. It's five stroke roll because it only takes five strokes to play. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Or right, right, left, left, right. Left, left, right, right, left. We're going to try playing this with the metronome at 70. One, two, ready. Go. Right, right, left, left, right. Left, left, right, right, left. Make sure you're alternating. Right, right, left, left, right. Left, left, right, right, left. Right, right, left, left, right. Left, left, right, right, left. So, something else I want you to be aware of is if that's too fast for you, you might want to break it down by noticing the skeleton it has. So, remember, for every two sixteenths, there's one eighth note. So if we're going to take the doubles out and just play singles, it will actually sound like this. Right, left, right, left, right, left. One and two, three and four. One and two, three and four. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Then when we add the doubles, it'll sound like this. So that's an exercise you can do. Just do the eighth note quarter, then the sixteenth note quarter. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Right, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, right, left. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Right, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, right, left. Make sure you're still practicing these rudiments. You keep track of how well you can play them and how evenly you can play them. And then make sure you go down to the bottom of the page where you see that Rudimental Reference button. Click on it and then chart your progress. That's the lesson for today. Thank you for joining. If you have any questions, feel free to email me or contact me on the contact page. Have a nice day and stay safe out there.